Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about stretches and shrinks of the graphs of functions. There are two types of stretches and shrinks, and both of them are called non-rigid transformations. What that means is that the shape will change. So all of the other transformations we've talked about, whether it's a vertical shift or a horizontal shift or a reflection, that kept the same basic shape. It just either moved it around or reflected it over an axis. But these are non-rigid, meaning it's going to change the shape. Um, there are two types. In this type, uh, in this video, we're only going to talk about vertical distortions, but do know that vertical distortions and horizontal distortions are very similar to each other. So vertical distortions, that's when we have a multiplier to the function itself. We call it a vertical stretch. If the ab I say the absolute value of A, um, just because we don't, the, the negative does something else that determines if there's a reflection or not. Um, we just are focused on the coefficient uh, without its sign. So if the absolute value, so if you look at that number and it's like a two, whether it's two or negative two, that's two, and that would be a vertical stretch. If the absolute value of the coefficient is somewhere in between zero and one, we call that a vertical shrink. Horizontal distortions are kind of the backwards of this. So that's when we have a multiplier within the function. And if that multiplier is bigger than one or its absolute value is bigger than one, we say that the graph has a horizontal shrink. And if it's in between zero and one, we say that it has a horizontal stretch. So just to see how similar these are, here are some vertical stretches and shrinks. So on the, the in either graph, the blue is the parent function. That's the parent function um, f of x equals the absolute value of x. f of x equals the absolute value of x. And that's just what the parent function looks like. So it starts at zero, zero, it goes to one, one, negative one, one, two, two, negative two, two. You see the stretch, there's that multiplier and it stretched it up and brought it closer to that y-axis. So that means that that indicates to us that the coefficient of that function is bigger than one. On the other hand, you'll notice that on the right, we still have that blue parent function and the orange is a vertical shrink. So that means that the coefficient of that function is somewhere in between zero and one. So those are the vertical stretches and shrinks. The horizontal stretches and shrinks I got to use the same graphs because they are the same, it's just the phrasing is different. So on the left, we see a horizontal shrink where the absolute value of A is bigger than one, and that's within the function, there's something being multiplied to X. Then there's a horizontal stretch when uh, indicating to us on the right here um, that something within the function was being multiplied, uh, it was in between zero and one. So that's a horizontal stretch. Um, so it's like backwards phrasing, but like I said in this video, we're only going to talk about vertical stretches and shrinks, or for the remainder of the video. There was the horizontal, yay, bye. Okay, so in our two examples, we're going to use this function that I've been using to show all of the different transformations. And this time, we have 2 times f of x. So f of x is this guy over here. We're going to call this one f of x. And the fact that it's 2 times indicates to us that this is a vertical stretch. This is a vertical stretch. And so we, what we should see is the graph stretched out. What this does is it um, stretches the y coordinates. So the x coordinates stay the same, but the y coordinates get doubled. So here we have the ordered pair negative 4, 1. In g of x, we're going to double the y coordinate, so it's going to map to negative 4, 2 up here. Down here we have negative 1, 0. It's going to double the y coordinate, which actually does nothing. Uh -huh, it just stays at negative one zero. Uh, over here we have two three. We're gonna double the y coordinate. That's gonna put us at two six. And lastly, we have five two. Double the y coordinate. That would put us at five four. Using a nice straight edge, we'll connect these as best I can. And I think the graphs are. You can see it kind of like a pulled up, right? It's a vertical stretch, so it kind of got elongated a little bit. That would be our vertical stretch. And in our last example, we're going to look at a vertical shrink. So we have g of x equals one half times f of x. What that's going to do is going to affect the y coordinates. So it's going to cut the y coordinates in half. We're going to divide by two, multiply by a half or divide by two. So negative four, one will now map to and g will be negative four a half. That's going to be a little bit tricky. It's probably right about there. Then here, negative one, zero, while well, cutting zero and half is going to keep it at zero, so it would be negative one, zero. This two, three, that's gonna map to two, three halves, or two and one and a half. Two and one and a half is probably right about there. And lastly, we have five, two, 
that's going to map to 5, 1, cutting the, um, the 1 in half. So you can see this shrink here, it all got kind of closer to the x-axis, kind of shrunk it all down. This has been a video on transformations uh, using stretches and shrinks. Thank you for stopping by.